We'll now move back to Brisket itself to continue to explore a client's 2D and 3D building layout and, along the way, take a look at some more of the new features and enhancements which we've just been talking about. Many of you, I know, use sheet sets a lot. And this is another area to get the new user experience treatment in V23. The updated panel clearly provides a much more clean, modern looking feel. This is a further example of our commitment to make using Brisket as enjoyable, satisfying and efficient as possible. You'll see even more of this new fresh look and Brisket in future versions. And as you saw earlier, the Tool Palettes panel is an additional case in point. The modernized and clean look and feel of this popular and well-used panel not only makes it even quicker and easier to navigate, but customizing it to meet your exact needs is simpler too. We want to add the Manipulate tool to ours, as it's something we're going to be using a lot for this project. We can easily add it to the panel from our comprehensive list of tools, as before, but now we can place it exactly where we want it to be by using simple drag and drop capability. Just like that. A new lasso selection tool adds flexibility when picking entities. We're using it here to select the block of a double bed, which we want to change to be a single bed, which is a different block in our drawing. This is now much easier using the new block replace feature just one of a set of powerful express tools with Embrisket V23. Maximizing productivity is fundamental to Brisket, and even the AI-powered command assistant does just that. It predictively offers you the tools you're likely to need next based on several criteria. This includes tools that others like you use on a regular basis and how you typically work in Brisket. Now Copy Guided 3D has also been improved in version 23. You may remember this feature was introduced some releases ago for 2D geometry. And it's a really powerful way to copy geometry intelligently so that it automatically adapts to its new surroundings. In V22, we extended this to address 3D solid bodies. And now, in this release, you can apply it to faces as well, significantly expanding its scope. We're using it now to make some more copies of a corner panel feature, which we need repeated in several places within the building. You can see just how easy it is to do that with just one click, helping to reduce significant amount of manual effort.